know what is up my dudes i have i know i have not posted a video in like forever i've been just lazy really i've been just working on a lot of things and that's no excuse but i am mean, gonna finally post one because i keep making videos and not posting them but today i'm gonna show you guys how in a sec when it loads up how to do this so when your mouse is over it as a selection box so your when your mouse is over it like it's supposed like it, like it's supposed to so what you're going to need to do is you're going to want to make a part you know name whatever the part you want name the part and now you're going to want to go over to your advanced objects right here advanced objects and you're want to click and you're you're going to like I'll open it right now Jeez. Now on my search object, get selection box, okay? And I'll put that into your part and name the part whatever you want, just not part. So now that's done out of the way, you're gonna want to insert a script into local script. And um, I'll put the script in the description, but I'm gonna script it for you now. So just like how I just scripted my uh, wood, I'll just redo it. So I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna redo it right now for you guys, so you guys can see um, how it looks. Now you're gonna to wanna to find your part in the workspace so you, so you can get memorize it or so you can get to it when you need it. Now you're gonna to wanna to do a while true do. an if statement so if mouse dot if mouse dot target equals the name of your a uh, name of the part that you or name of the or the part that you just found so if mouse dot target equal part then now this is where you do um mouse mouse that target dot selection box dot visible equal true so that right there is getting the selection box from the mouse from the mouse target and is changing the visibility of it to true but you're also going to want an else statement. And this else is going to be, so basically if it's not, if it's not the mouse target, then you're going to want part that selection box dot visible equal false. Because you want it to be false when, and when it's not going over it. So now we're going to do... Wait, and we should be fine. So now, when we load in, no problems. There's no errors coming up because this is not the mouse target. Mouse target equals this wood stick. So now that it's wood, its selection box equals true visibility equals true and now it looks like a player is selecting it and this I believe is only and it only is visible to the player that select that has the mouse target over it so 
thanks guys that's gonna be the end of the video today um i hope you guys liked it please comment like and subscribe to get more videos and i will see you all get you'll see you guys later peace love y'all yeah!